I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Well, damn, 600 Breezy, that's how you feel? So last week, King Yellow made a proposition to 600 Breezy, telling him, bro, it's time to squash this beef. We're two grown men. What are we really doing right now? He said, as a grown man, I'm willing to sit down with 600 Breezy and settle out differences like men to make change for Chicago, but more importantly, the world and the youth. Now credit to King Yella, he's been on a very, very positive wave lately. Seems like he wants to leave the whole gang banging life behind him and make positive impact and changes to Chicago. Now I'm sure you guys remember the infamous video of 600 Breezy when he was confronted at the mall by King Yella and his crew. 600 Breezy has responded back to him and here's what he said. Hey, hey, Yella, I'm going to tell you one more time, and it's the last time I'm going to tell you. Stop stop mentioning me, gang. And stop mentioning me, bro. Why the fuck? What, what is me sitting down with your big goofy ass going to do for the city of Chicago? Be for real, bro. Me and your block not even into it. Y'all steady want to push this fake ass GDBD beef, and that's not what the fuck is going on in the streets. We beefing off sets. We beefing off blocks. You hung with the niggas that we was beefing with, and you want to put yourself in it. Like, stop doing that, gang. I'm not sitting down with you, you big-ass fucking thunky. You're a goofy. You're a fucking goofy. You keep mentioning me, bro. Stop doing that, gang. Like, you don't even be in Chicago. I be here. I be I be in Iraq. Like, like they, they know I post when I'm here. If people post when I'm here, I be in Iraq. They see me in O'Hare every motherfucking few days, bro. Like, stop doing that, bro. You don't even, like, stop doing that, bro. Just stop mentioning me, gang. Like, please, bro. Please, bro. Stop mentioning me, bro. Like, brother, 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 please. Brother, please. Stop me. Now, King Yellow responded back to that video. He said, you so tough. God bless your soul, black man. 600 Breezy responds back saying, sit down with somebody you really beefing with, bro. You seen me seven years ago by myself. Yo was deep and we talked, right? Get the fuck on, dude. You obsessed with me. You weird as hell, gang. Now, I'm not mad at 600 Breezy for that response. Kind of looks like he has no issues with King Yella, despite their past. And also, just because you're on this positive path, doesn't mean that I have to be as well. Everybody has their own journey in life. Let me get to a place to where I feel comfortable being cool with you or trying to settle out differences. But if I'm King Yella, I'm not going to let this deter me from the positive changes that I'm trying to make. Keep going and keep making changes because a lot of people are watching and they're inspired by it. Tell what you guys think about 600 Breezy's response. Was it immature or was it just right? Push comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I'll see you guys later.